this is the energy vibration um, lacing for um, the full moon for the water people this is for the Pisces cancer and scorpion so let's see what is coming up first we are going to be looking at uh, um, the um, moon the sun sign people these are the people that was born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. okay and then we're going to be looking at the moon people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. so we have the energy of the Sun people first and we're going to be looking to see what is coming in for you Sun people so let's see so I see some of you um, uh, um, Pisces um, um, you could be looking for a healing, um, a healing of the issue of a situation, but there is emotional situation, um, that is going to be coming up for you water sign. So you're coming in this full moon, um, leaving some emotional situations behind you and moving, um, forward with positive alignment of energy. However, this is coming up for you. Some of you were going through some issues, um, that was creating a lot of situation in your life and I see some of you could be just turning your back towards this emotional situation and moving forward here it is where you were dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're turning your back on these people and moving forward so this could be a younger person However, this is coming up in your life. This could be a child where you were dealing with some issues with a child and um, or it is someone between the ages of 18 and 45. This could be someone on your work. Now, whatever is transpiring, I see some of you are finding a new start. You were open um, to something new. Um, I see this is not going to be coming up in this full moon. So, um, you can uh, look for this coming up um, but it's not coming up in this full moon I see some of you are looking forward to something it's as if your ship is about to come in and you, you are going to be receiving a new start so whatever it is if it was a new job um, if it's a new um, start with a new work I see you are going to be looking for a new start some of you are going to be receiving a message from someone between the age of 18 and 45 that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius I see happiness is coming in in the family and money is coming in so um, this is um, very positive so for the people um, who were worried about finan your financial stability um, with your family I see a lot of money coming in um, in your family and a lot of money that is coming in for some of you because um, some of you um, are offer some of you have taken an offer and this offer is bringing you long-term financial stability I see love coming up for you guys in the family and this could be that um, your financial stability in your family is good so um, the energy of love is balanced out in your family what I should really say is that a lot of you are dealing with issues with ki kids that is coming up so be aware of this I see collaborations is coming up collaboration is coming up with your work so this is good for both business people and people who are working because um, this is an energy that is saying that uh, if you're looking for a new partner this is going to be happening if you're looking for a new job this is definitely going to be happening so this is what I was saying to you guys when the two um, when two of ones came in the reverse it was as if you had applied for a job or something like that but it's not coming up in January it's going to be coming up in February and this is a very um, good because whatever um, that was transpiring you're going to be getting something better some of you ladies 45 uh, 50 years and older I see you're having issues with your kids but I see a new offer is coming up at work so um, in the in the end of January it was as if you were open for um, you could have applied for a, um, a job but you didn't receive it but it's just going to come in in the first week of uh, February uh, second week of February so this is really wonderful remember that these readings are um, timeless so um, don't worry about this 
um, whenever you receive this reading is the time that you should listen to it so I see really that some of you if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're turning your back on this person um, I see some of you this person is a young person between the age of 18 and 45 whatever is transpiring this person could be blocked off from you for whatever the reason or situation is this person have done some deceptive situation and I see that they could be blocked off from you okay um, and it has to be uh, it has to do with money um, some of you it could be a child that is coming back and they need some worry some money I see a lot of worries some of you are dealing with an Aquarius are a Gemini and I see a lot of worries that is happening as we look at the energy is that some of you have decided you look you were looking for something better in your life you have found it and you're going to be receiving a new start so let's say that you um, were apply you apply for a job I see an offer is definitely going to be coming up I see a new start with money I see is as if um, something you had is um, or it could be um, you receive also a promotion it could be coming up for some of you I see you really communicate uh, over a situation that was transparent that has to do um, with an offer that is coming in some of you are going to be applying for jobs and solicit and, and uh, um, communicating what it is that you want okay I see offers is going to be coming in so what I'm seeing here is that a new start is coming up to the your financial situation you want to sign and I see you're going to be having new offers and I see you're going to be communicating exactly what you want in the family I see some deceptiveness that a child has done some deceptiveness in the family um, that is coming up and uh, some of you are dealing with an issue where you're going to be finding out that a Sagittarius there's some lies and deceptiveness in a family and it is created by a child okay I see um, you and your partner is going to be very happy um, because some unexpected money is going to be coming in so this is looking really good for you um, you want to sign people so um, if you're married um, I see some unexpected money it's as if some unexpected money and I see um, an apology is also going to be coming in um, to you and your partner for some deceptiveness that has transpired against you both and I see as if they're going to be um, helping you guys out financially because they realize what exactly has transpired so this is really good it could be um, that there was some um, some of you who had child custody battle um, money is going to be coming out um, um, where um, some money that was that needed to be paid wasn't paid it's going to be coming out I see that um, um, some of you are dealing with some um, worries uh, um, about a collaboration but it's okay um, and it's going to be affecting you guys because some of you are going to be finding out that um, some lies and deceptiveness in a, a collaboration like you have collaborated with someone and you're going to be finding out about some lies and some deceptiveness if you um, have um, if you have a, a, a um, someone who's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I'm go you're going to be realizing that a Gemini have stabbed this person in the back you're going to be realizing that a Gemini have stabbed this person in the back I see some of you get, get an offer of two different jobs that you have to choose from and I see that one of these people really want to have you so they're really going to be asking you to come on board with them they have seen your work they know what it is that you do so I see um, some of you um, if you are in a relationship with a Capricorn or a Capricorn might be helping you out financially I see you're going to be finding out about some deceptiveness um, with your child children you're going to be finding out about some deceptiveness with your child or deceptiveness in a family I see you're going to be finding out that a Gemini or an Aquarian has lied about uh, um, um, a connection it could be at work on the work floor I see that is happening so 
some of you who are worries and uh, worried and I see some of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarian you are leaving this relationship if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian or a Gemini I see you turning your back to this person and moving forward I see some of you are going to be communicating very clearly um, if you are applying for a job you're going to be communicating very clearly and this is going to be um, bringing you together with people this is really looking good I see that some of you um, have applied and you have received uh, two job offers and uh, um, one of them pays very um, a lot more and they are going to be offering you a lot more so you can come and work for them so this is good all right so let's go see what is here for the energies of the moon people the moon people okay you Pisces let's look at the moon people and the moon people um, I'm gonna leave um, um, the link with the timeline spend um, in these for you guys because I'm doing the moon people also okay so um, let's look at the moon Scorpio uh, can uh, well the sand people so if you were born between 7 p.m. and uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. you are a moon sign person so just say after 6 o'clock in the evening to after 6 a.m. in the morning you're definitely a moon sign person so you're governed by the energy of the moon okay water sign so let's see what is coming up for you moon sign um people and i hate doing it on the table because it makes so much noise so i see okay so there's definitely a situation with family that is coming up but it, it is positive so there's happiness so let's see what else is going to be coming up with family again money is coming up you saw me shuffle the cards so the weather the sun sign or moon sign and this has been coming up since um this year because i have been um seeing the same especially in the full moon reading whoever whatever come up for the fire sign is also coming up for the moon sign so this is good so i see a family money is going to be coming in all right so and again um i'm gonna chop up again all right so i see a new offer is coming up for a family so i see some deceptiveness as played a new offer is going to be coming up for a family this is going to be good if some of you are looking for a job you're going to be um, receiving an offer especially you pisces so if you pisces are looking for a job you're going to be receiving an offer but unexpected money is going to be coming in now i see a situation with an organization and whatever is transpiring i think this organization has seen exactly what has transpired with a deceptive situation now um some of you are going to be showing up an organization um that they are um not vibrating on the same energy vibration and it could be at your work so some of you are seeing that yeah i'm going to look for another job because i don't think that i want to be um aligned with these people i see money is coming in so if you have your own business i see you're going to make a lot of money in this um full moon okay so that is looking good so the only um situation is that some of you are going to who are working for a company institutes the organization you're going to be seeing that these people are very very deceptive okay or they're not working on a positive energy vibration when it looks at family family is really um family is really looking good i see unexpected money coming up for some family i see some of you are going to be receiving also some unexpected money that is going to be coming in i see um the help is coming in and a whole lot of you um, um pisces are going to be helping out the rest of the water sign whatever is happening i see the truth come out over a deceptive organization so in the family i see you women um 50 years and older you could be taking care of your grandkids this could be coming up you could be connecting i see the energy of your partners i see some of you are happy because you and your partner 
have received some money um some extra money i see news is coming in for you and your partner um that some extra money is coming in and this is going to be helping you guys to move forward so whether you're a man or a woman i see whatever is transpiring is that unexpected money is coming in and this is going to be helping you and your partner um to make different changes in your life i see an offer is coming in and this offer that is coming in be aware because an offer could be coming in from an aquarian but be aware because something with this offer um is a little bit off okay something with this offer is a little bit off there is unseen secrets and information about this offer that you're not aware of um i see some of you and this is what i said the offer is a little bit off i see some of you receive an offer or some of you find out something about a gemini and an, and an aquarius and you're thinking oh my god i knew that something wasn't right about these people the ace of pentacles is here where um you're going to be receiving news that some money was available and uh, there was some money something that a gemini has uh, either stolen some money or try to do something deceptive to get some money but you're going to be finding this out so whatever it's transpiring some of you are definitely going to be finding out that a uh, gemini and aquarius have worked together to do something um very deceptive uh, um to receive some money but it's all coming out I see that um, some of you are going to be realizing a corporation or for organization some of the deceptive situation about some money um, and it could be a bank institution has done some deceptive things about money but I see they're going to be apologizing to you they're going to be finding out exactly what has transpired and they're going to be apologizing to you because they find out that something deceptive has transpired with your um, your money there's a lot of worries and some of you are having a lot of worries because you're dealing with some deceptive things and it's as if there's negative forces that you weren't seeing something clearly but now it's going to be as clear as day okay now it's going to be as clear as day I see some of you could be connecting with a Capricorn in an organization and I see this Capricorn is going to be helping you out whatever is transpired I see some of you dealing with an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius person on the work floor and this person is not vibrating it could be a boss but they're not vibrating on a positive energy I see a lot of money because this is the second nine of Pentacles so a lot of money a lot of you are going to be making a lot of money um, whether on the work floor or you are going to be financially um, balanced because you're going to be making a lot of money I see news coming in that you are going to be receiving a lot of money now however this money is coming up it has to do with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this person could have done some deceptive things to you and it's coming out and this money is definitely coming up I see a tall moment is coming down whatever that was blocking your financial um, flow is going to be um, resolved okay so I see that some of you your financial flow is resolved because um, I see a new start message of a new start is just going to be coming in um, about your financial flow so I see some of you you're going to be having a new start with your financial flow and uh, this is going to be very positive now the center for you guys uh, you moon sign people is that you're going to be finding out something about a Gemini It's definitely a Gemini I see a Gemini coming in and apologizing to you about some money okay so whatever is transpiring is that um whoever this Gemini is this Gemini could have been an ex-lover ex-partner but they're coming in and um, offering you some money or apologizing to you offering you some money or apologizing to you you ladies 50 years and older I see you connecting with your grandkids I see you ladies are going to be finding out some deceptive situation that an organization has done to a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person so you ladies 45 years and older are going to be finding out um, a deceptive situation that 
uh, organization has done to a Capricorn and uh, um, they it's as if they're going to, you're going to be finding out that an Aries Lee or Sagittarius have used a Capricorn information to make a lot of money and I see you're going to say return the money to this person so this is really good because it, whether you're Pisces or a cancer but you're 50 years and older I see you're going to be realizing that an organization has done some deceptiveness to a Capricorn and I see an apologize is coming out and you're going to be clearing up this deceptiveness that has been transpiring with this Capricorn so this is um, really good I see some lies and deceptiveness that an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you are going to be finding out that an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man 50 years and older have done some deceptive situation um, that that has use a Capricorn information because you can see this because it's as if this person was lying that that this person was really lying that they and this this Capricorn had a business agreement and then you're going to be finding out that it's not true you're definitely going to be finding out that it's not true and I see you're standing up and making sure that this person return the money it could be that it's your business partner that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and they have lied and stole some money and I see you standing up and said return my money because some of you are going to be finding out that this person was shady and they could have used your information and I see um you guys are really resolving the problem and um Either you are going to be getting back your money if it was your business partner. I see you standing up and said, return the money, okay? I want my money, uh, I, you know. But some of you was doing business with an old man. This man is 50 years and older. That was an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius. And I see you're really finding out something very deceptive about this man. I see some of you are going to be having um, issues with children, but it's going to be okay. Some of you are going to be finding out that your kids wasn't being very honest, but some of you are going to be finding out that an Aquarius and a Gemini had some secrets and the secrets is going to be coming out and it has to do with money. So some of you ladies, um, um, 50 years and older I see your family especially if you're married or um, you know a family marriage or your sister or I see unexpected money is coming in for you water signs so it is really looking good all right so let's go in and see the general energy of what is happening and what is transpiring general energy of what is happening what is transpiring now the nine of pentacles and they are in the upright so business people if you are in a business um um and uh, um business people is going to be finding out a deceptiveness with um someone who you were doing this with business with and there's a there Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to get them away from your business and you're going to be asking them to return the money some of you who are working who this person could have been a business partner or so you're going to be cutting them out of the business and said I'm taking back you know because you find out that this person has been very deceptive um I see news is coming in and whoever out there that your financial um, was block I see a new start is coming up so that is absolutely fabulous darlings fabulous it is really beautiful and whoever is um, looking for a job I see it but some of you are going to be realizing that an deceptive organization has done some um, deceptive uh, situation to a Capricorn whether this person was working for you or whatever but it's just going to be coming out and i see you're going to be helping this person to get back on their feet so i see the first house second house third house fourth house cancers you are in the fourth house remember fifth house is the house of passion sixth house is the house of career whatever you create so creative people listen to what is coming up in the sixth house seventh house 
is legal issues your relationship eight house scorpions you're in the eighth house nine house is things to do with foreign situation ten house is your reputation eleven house is the house of the um aquarians where you're definitely coming to the hedge you're doing things with community 12 house that's you um pisces righty so let's go ahead and see what is coming up for you guys so i actually put the energies for the water sign people i see the offer of work is coming up and i see some of you are going to be doing well with your work um you're doing well on the work floor especially you pisces so let's see the first house is the self so i see some of you are going to be healing yourselves and this is really good because when healing comes up in the first house that means it has to do with you anything from the first house to the fourth house it has to be De dealing with you and you're going to be healing yourself okay so this is a wonderful alignment of energies that is coming in because whatever is transpired i see you healing yourself and um it is the best thing that can happen is when someone heal themselves okay so um some of you you scorpions are going to learn to heal yourself whatever that was happening and transpired is going to be affecting you scorpions you are the ones who are going to be healing yourself whatever is transpiring in your world uh scorpions you're going to be finding a way to heal your own self in the house of your money and possession there is a balance that is coming up okay so a balance is coming up in your house your second house now this balance with your financial situation is coming up with the second house so cancer you're going to be um, finding balance with your financial situation so whatever that is transpiring and coming up it's going to affect um, your financial flow is cancers you're going to be finding a balance i think the pisces and the scorpio are going to be receiving money um that is coming in but you cancers have to find a balance within your financial situation um in your environment which is your work and your surroundings where you live people that you are that is in your environment i see a conjunction where you're going to be learning to empower yourself so in whatever way this is coming up you're going to be learning to empower yourself and this is good some of you um are going to be um working out a situation with a gemini so maybe this is someone you're in a relationship with or you could be moving in a gemini or you're going to be working out issues and situation with a gemini and making sure that things are really balanced and is going to be working out positive so i see however if this is coming up it could be um someone on the work floor it could be someone around you that lives close to you uh, or you know someone you're sharing a house with however that is coming up now cancers there is a huge transformation that is coming up in the family this is your house cancer um so you cancers there's a huge transformation that is coming up in your house now whenever pluto comes up in your house is that there needs to be a cleanup of an issue or a situation that is going on in your house and it's going to be affecting the cancers more of all okay for the rest of you i see some of you could be um connecting and a transformation with you and a virgo okay so um um, maybe there's a Virgo in your family that you and this Virgo maybe wasn't speaking for some time or there's some issues that is going to be coming up but the um, energy of Pluto Pluto is transformation okay and um, in the family of the scorpion there is also going to be a transformation and uh, um, the energy of the Virgos is coming up to make a transformation in the lives of your families okay so there there could be a new virgo that is going to be married in the family or your you have meet a new virgo whose um, family that you weren't aware of that sort of a thing now neptune neptune is the energy of the unseen this is the energy of the pisces so in the house of 
passion it's gonna be affecting the Pisces especially in um, some of you could be having love affairs okay whatever is transpiring be aware um, Pisces and um, this is the house of children this is house of love affair this is house of passionate relationship whatever is there happening I see you having a lot of fun with a Capricorn or you could be um, having a love affair with your boss so you got to be aware what is happening because this is all going to be coming out I see some of you are connecting with a Capricorn and this Capricorn could be a very good friend I see you're going to have a lot of wonderful time with this person in the house of creative um, creativity I see if you're a creative person I see a whole lot of change is coming up in your world so if you are someone who's creative your work life it, a lot of changes is going to be coming up in your work life and I see you're going to be inventing a lot of stuff so it is good for the creative mention in this um, full moon um, time for you creative men so I see a lot of change but positive change is going to be coming up because you're going to be inventing things and bringing in new things in your organization um the outlook is here in your relationships i see some of you are really realizing maybe this is where i need to be or um however way it's coming up whenever the energy of outlook comes up it has to do with partnership business investment but it has also to do with legalities and if you are in a relationship with a liberal you might think okay i think that this is a person um um, and this is a situation that I need to be in so I said it this is the house of the liberal so some of you could have been having legal issues or there was lawsuit I see if there was legal issues and lawsuit you Pisces might be winning it depends um, some of you could be also um, choosing to be because I see whatever is transpired I see you're going to be finding out some things so let's say that there was some deceptiveness with your bank account and that sort of a thing I see that people are going to be finding that there was some theft that has transpired maybe a Libran has done it um, if you're divorcing a Libran I think you're going to be finding out that this is the right thing to do however legal issues I see some of you might be getting a big payout from a legal issue the house of intimacy you um scorpions um tune in and go with the flow if you work against the flow scorpion you're going to be in some serious problem for the rest of you i see just go with the flow wherever you are whatever investments new contracts are going to be coming up i see the energy of the kundalini could be rising for you um water sign people because that is the flow the kundalini energy could be rising in you and uh, that is your flow i see some of you could be um having some luck with some situations overseas i see go with the flows um it's all about energy it's all about harmony it's all about balance uh, i see unexpected gifts and this could be some of you could be receiving some unexpected money from overseas or that sort of thing things that you weren't aware of unexpected gifts is going to be coming in and benefits that you weren't aware of i see this is really a happiness in your um eight hours for some of you scorpions but you water sign people have a lot of luck in your eight hours and your eight hours has to do with investments um it has to do with new contracts it has to do with uh, um unexpected it, there was secrets and that sort of a thing inheritance i see a lot of you are going to be in um having inheritance in um unexpected gifts is going to be coming in so it could be you scorpion it could a water sign people your luck is also um in the uh fourth house because um it's as if um it can be a sagittarius could be giving you just luck in the other eight hours for you um scorpions but I am seeing that the rest of you are going to be having luck, unexpected luck, inheritance, that sort of a thing is coming up. Nine toes of travel, a lot of luck for you, Pisces, a lot of luck for you, water sign people, especially with traveling. 
um, luck is going to be coming up some of you I don't see a relocation but I see you're going to be um, expanding so if you have a business it's going to be expanding overseas some of you could be um, having offers coming in from overseas if you have a business overseas this is going to be doing a lot so whatever is transpiring I see you're getting rid of an Aries overseas and um, by getting rid of this person if you were connected with this person I see you're getting rid of this person because you're eradicating um, someone something that was blocking your business overseas and you're going to be having some luck okay in the house of uh, the tent house is the house of the Capricorns and it's the house of the repetition and I see the Capricorns are going to be helping you to bring back uh, um um it's like bringing back in a wisdom but they're going to be helping you with your reputation especially you pisces because pisces um you have fault so um the capricorns in the tent house is going to help you to discipline yourself and to bring back your reputation to a very um positive balance okay so and for the rest of you i see capricorns um, if you are trying to ruin a Capricorn um, um, repetition, they're going to be ruining you. Okay, so be aware, because this this means that this is the um, planetary aspect of the Capricorn. The Capricorn is the tenth house. The tenth house is the house of reputation. So Cancers um, and um, Scorpions, be aware that you, if you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation, they're going to take you down. Okay um Pisces the can the Capricorns are going to be helping you to bring back uh, um um your reputation so if your you Pisces reputation was out they're going to be helping you to bring it back now the 11th house is um a luck is coming up with um groups uh, humanity um and that sort of a thing um once you're connected to groups and doing something for humanity friendships and that sort of a thing you're going to be having a lot of luck with these people okay a lot of luck with these people now um i see um some of you um friendship could be turning into lovers so some of you who were connected to someone in a group or that sort of a thing but if you're doing something for humanity I see a lot of people loving you and loving what you're doing and you're going to be having a lot of luck because people love um, whatever you're creative whatever you're putting out in the market I see people are connecting with you because they love the what you're doing and this is going to bring you a lot of luck with groups of people organization I see a lot of people coming in and loving what you're doing so um, Pisces communication communicate the communication is very key at work for you Pisces whatever is transpiring whatever you're doing Whatever work you're doing, communication is good. It's your house, Pisces. So Pisces, your house is a 12th house and communication is going to be good for you, Pisces, in this time, okay? And I see especially business people at business, who has business, who are doing business. I see Tauruses are going to be coming in and the communication between you and the Taurus must be very clear because whatever is happening and transpiring I see you're going to be really communicating with a Taurus and um, by doing this I think it's going to especially at work or in business communication is going to be the key and uh, it's going to really be good for the rest of you son but especially um, for the Pisces because this is your house this is the house of uh, the 12th house so for the rest of you you're going to be healing issues and situation with Tauruses and you're going to be communicating that's how you're going to be healing karmatic issues and situations that is going to be coming up so it is it is very very wonderful and it's very positive if I should say um, because whenever um communication is sitting in the 12 hours that means that issues and situation needs to be clearly 
you need to speak about the situation and you need to let people know where they are. And I see, especially on the work floor, especially if you are a manager on the work floor, you need to communicate clearly what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you want. I love you guys. Remember, if you want to extend it of this reading, use the link below and then you can pick up your own Zodiac um, um, reading where you can pick up the Pisces and the cancer or whatever the links will be on the, this video in order to pick up the extended reading you have to become a member and you have to come, become a medium member because that is where the energy of this full moon reading is i love you guys enjoy namaste